Imperial officers of the Galactic Empire have been seen in various uniform colours since the original Star Wars A New Hope. But what exactly did all the colours mean both from canon and legend material? And also, how did some of the uniforms deviate from the standard Imperial uniform? Although there were different officer uniforms, there were some distinct items which included the Gabawal double-breasted tunic, a kepi cap with an officer disc, a utility belt, a silver belt buckle and leather black boots. Variations on the standard uniform would be their assigned rank plaque, a number of code cylinders and private data pads which attached to their utility belts. An officer's belt and cap disc as well as the code cylinder contain individual data about them. Another variation was army officers in situations of combat wore body armour over their tunic displaying their rank insignia. Another variation would be officers would wear a waterproof greatcoat when stationed in harsh weather conditions or situations of war. Starting with the designated white uniform, the branch of the Imperial Security Bureau was associated with this colour. From canon and legends, ISB officers both wore a white uniform, and one such character was Wolfie Lauren, who was seen in A New Hope, Star Wars Rebels, and more recently the Andor series. But other officers have been seen in the Andor series, such as Dead Ramiro, Major Partigas, and Supervisor Blevin, as some examples. From canon, another notable officer in the white uniform from Imperial Intelligence was Director Krennic, of the Department of Advanced Weapons Research. The most senior officers in canon and legend wearing a white uniform were the Grand Admirals, for example Thrawn and Ray Sloan. However, throughout the reign of the Empire, the most recognisable standard type of uniform was the grey-green tunic designated to commission officers of the Imperial Army or Imperial Navy. Most notable characters wearing this colour were Wilhoff Tarkin and Admiral Piet, and the uniform was true for canon and legends. Also in canon and legends, a black officer uniform was designated to the commissioned officers of the Stormtrooper Corps and non-commissioned Navy troopers. Black bodysuits were mostly worn by weapons technicians such as Imperial gunners, system operators and landing pad crewmen. However, in Star Wars Rebels from canon, weapons technicians were also seen wearing a light grey bodysuit aboard Tarkin Star Destroyer prior to its demise. Light grey uniforms in canon and legends were designated to non-commissioned Imperial technicians and crewmen aboard starships and space stations, but also typically wore a black kepi cap, a utility belt and black leather boots. In legends only, army operations officers wore a light grey double-breasted tunic, as they did aboard the first Death Star, including High General Trek Malak, and also this officer who approached Governor Tarkin prior to speaking to the captured Princess Leia in A New Hope. In Legends Only, the uniform which stood out from the rest was the red uniform of the Director of Imperial Intelligence, which only ever belonged to two individuals known as Armand Isard and his daughter who later replaced him, Yusani Isard. In canon, Imperial Science Officer uniforms have been worn by scientists who served on projects by Imperial military officials during and after the reign of the Galactic Empire. Their uniforms consisted of a grey belted tunic with a white shoulder strip that featured a high collar and pleated details. A patch worn on the right shoulder denoted the project which the wearer was assigned. For example, Galen Erso wore this uniform while serving on the Tarkin Initiative, but also from the Mandalorian series, Dr. Persing wore a variation of this uniform that was beige instead of grey, with black stripes framing the shoulder strip, and a patch resembling the Kaminonian emblem worn by all clone troopers while in training. During the entire reign of the Galactic Empire from 19 BBY to 4 ABY, it was Imperial policy for uniforms to adhere to the standard elements and not cluttered with medals and additional items. Prior to the Battle of Endor in canon and legends, only Grand Admiral uniforms consisted of the extra gold epaulets. In canon, Orson Krennic ensured his uniform when promoted to director made himself look more important than his Imperial standing by wearing a long white cape. In Legends in 4 ABY, after the Battle of Endor, breakaway Imperial warlords, for example Zinge, Xander Del Vardos and Truton Teradoc, began wearing medals and ribbons as a way of making themselves look more important than any of their rivals. And also in canon, from the Mandalorian, Moff Gideon, who was a member of the Imperial Security Bureau prior to the Empire's demise, not only changed the colour of his uniform from white to black, but also wore body armour and a black cape. For more Imperial videos from this channel, please give a like and subscribe. Thank you for watching, and as always, long live the Empire.